Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The infantry fighting vehicles have a very important role in military operations since World War I. At tough terrains of LSE, India needs light, fast, armored mobility to better itself than Chinese counterpart. It needs to strike quick, hard and move. This is where the need of armored fighting vehicle is felt the most. At present, Indian Army is operating Soviet-era BMPs and APCs which are in need of desperate replacement with challenging battle scenario. And this is where Tata Kestrel or WAP wheeled armored platform proves to be vital. Indian Army needs close to 2000 of such vehicles to replace its fleet of BMPs. The Indian Armed Forces have ordered 15 numbers of Tata IPMV, 76 numbers of Tata QRF medium and 81 Bharat Forge QRF heavy. In April 2022, the first lot of Tata IPMVs were delivered to Indian Army at a ceremony in Pune. The Tata IPMV is based on Tata WAP platform. The IPMV also includes TSL's in-house designed and developed remote control weapon station and thermal sites from Tonbo Imaging and external add-on armor protection panels developed by DMRL of TRDO. An order for development and supply of six WAP variants has also been placed with Vehicle Research and Development Establishment Ahmednagar by CRPF. These WAP variants have been handed over to CRPF on 21st March 2023. Talking about Tata WAP or Kestrel, the IMPV is powered by Cummins ISX 600 engine which also includes cooling and a dilation system which increases the efficiency of the vehicle. It comes with a reliability rating of over 1 lakh kilometers. The 8x8 wheel configuration is set on a hydro pneumatic suspension utilizing a double wishbone arrangement. All the vehicles are equipped with a run flat capability to allow the vehicle to move even after suffering from multiple punctures. The two front wheels are steerable and all eight wheels are of a run flat type that can be centrally inflated or deflated like a modern luxury SUV. For rough terrains, the tires can be deflated but for highway operation, they can be pumped up to normal levels of air pressure. The vehicle has four axle. The front axle is steerable which reduces the turning radius of the vehicle significantly. The vehicle is amphibious up to 24 tons. The hydrojets in the rear helps the vehicle in propulsion in water at a speed of 10 km per hour. WAP features a modular design which means turret of any choices can be fitted with WAP depending upon the requirement. The very prominent turret seen mounted on WAP is of BMP2 which is definitely very economical option but not an advanced one. Till date, we have seen three turrets mounted on Tata WAP. The BMP2 turret features a 30mm auto cannon and an anti-tank guided missile or a 30mm auto cannon with PKMT 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, AGS-30 grenade launcher and an anti-tank guided missile. DRDO Tata WAP has also showcased two excellent turrets. The first one is for Kongsberg Protector MCT-30R with a 30mm Bushmaster chain gun as a main weapon though this can be swapped for a larger or smaller chain gun. The Protector MCT-30R and M151 remote weapon station can be seen on WAP in Defense Expo 2014. It features Protector RWS which is a commander independent weapon station with an integrated Javelin missile launcher. The MCT-30R also features a 7.62 coaxial machine gun. This is an excellent and proven turret which is widely used in many APCs including American Striker. Tata has also offered WAP with Elbit UT-30 MK2 turret. This is again a configurable turret with a MK-44 ABM 30mm gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The anti-tank guided missiles are fully integrated with the turret and turret fire control system. It also features laser warning system and optional smoke grenade launcher system. It has option for both manned and unmanned turret protection. The vehicle is well protected because of its armor configuration. This system has all-round protection against blast as well as the ballistic impacts. 
Talking about blast protection, the vehicle has been designed to provide protection against landmine meeting level 3 STNAG 4569 standards. The hull configuration evolved follows a V-type bottom with a double configuration consisting of an inner panel and bottom panel. The bottom panel is designed to deflect a blast energy and get deformed to minimize the energy transfer to the vehicle. Further, a blast resistant seats and energy absorbing mats at the roof feet floor interface provides protection to crew as per STNAG 4569 standards. The seating layout in the crew compartment follows centrally mounted outward facing seat configuration to accommodate the requirement of firing port for every soldier in the crew compartment. The seats are suspended from the roof and do not have any connection with the floor to further reduce the impact of any mine blast. The armor configuration of Tata Kestrel is based on the composite and steel armor packed in blocks. The hull which is constructed of high strength steel with a special ceramic armor bolted on offers all round protection against 7.62 mm rounds and in case the requirement is to have larger protection, the platform design caters the requirement by keeping bolt on armor to a higher level of protection. Kestrel is often compared with US made ICV Striker. This system is made by General Dynamics Land System for United States Army. Both the systems are equivalent in performance, however, when it comes to price, a striker costs 45 crore per unit. At the same time, Kestrel costs just 23 crore. Kestrel is an excellent platform for multiple requirements of Indian Armed Forces, including paramilitary forces. This indigenously built system can be leveraged in multiple applications such as armored personal carrier, motor carrier, anti-tank guided missile, and mounted gun system etc. In future, this can also be used to mount direct energy weapons. The WAP has also received permission from the Ministry of Defense to export it to the friendly nations. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.